Welcome everyone to day number two of Argentina, baby. Hopefully you enjoyed the first vlog. My morning today consisted of me sitting in my bedroom, editing the vlog and downloading music for the vlog on like a 0.2 megabyte connection. But we're trying to find a place to eat right now. Our hotel room, I think if you can see it, is like just there. It's so bright that so much of the stuff comes up is really dark. But it's like this outdoor like gym sesh area here. Kind of want to give it a go, can't lie. And then just tons of beautiful views all around. So another amazing day today. The big thing today is going to be the I8 baby i am so excited so come along give it a big fat thumbs up if you're enjoying these argentina vlogs it's gonna be a good one all right guys we're back here on the track or like inside the track and was basically like this all the tents set up like in the middle of the racetrack the, the breakfast was really nice like no places seemed to serve breakfast before like 11 a.m and i was like bro i'm freaking hungry we eventually hunted the place down it was really really nice i tried to upload my first vlog from my uh room and it was gonna take 1400 minutes like that ain't happening but found ourselves the editing suite and uh, we've got far better upload speeds now. So now we're in the editing suite, half an hour to upload. That's more like it. First video is going to go live for you guys. I have no idea if you enjoyed it. Hopefully you absolutely loved it. But let's continue with day two and have some fun. You just find random stray dogs everywhere. Look at this one just chilling outside the food tent. Like he's, he's trying to steal some food, mate. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> he's trying to get in. He's trying to get in. So everyone's warning me. They're like, you know what? This I8 lap is going to be quick, boys. It's going to be rapid. I'm like, look, 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 I've been in a car with Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton around the track at Mercedes-Benz World, I'm ready for this. And I'm like, you know what, I'm really hungry, but like, don't eat, don't eat any food, you're about to go around in the IA. And I was like, nah, I'm eating food. <laughs> no, but honestly, this is apparently a fast track. And I've been on it, of course, yesterday on the golf buggy. And there's a lot of like, just open straights. So hopefully he's gonna absolutely rag it and we're gonna go around super quick. This is the i8 we're going to be going in. We've got an i3 behind us as well. And obviously these are electric cars. Look down here, see these pads on the floor. All the cars have to do is drive over them and then like wirelessly electrically charge them. How sick is that? So don't even need to be directly plugged into anything. But I'm ready for this, man. This is going to be absolutely awesome. And seeing this car in person, let's take a look at it. It's such a beautiful car. I like the white, blue and black combination. Although I can't lie, I think all black is awesome. I think Nade, before he got rid of his IA, did actually completely black it out. I'll try and grab a picture. Of course, it's got like the wing gull um, doors as well. So they swing up and it looks absolutely... Let's have a sneak, sneak peek inside. Look at it. Look at it. It's absolutely crazy. This is where we're going to be sitting, boys. It's going to be so sick. Guys, first time seeing a Formula E car in action. No one's driving it. No one's driving it. But the Renault team pushing out one of their cars. Look at it. It looks absolutely mad. I can't believe I'm going to be driving one of those things. What is life? Please. <laughs> So I have to wear a helmet when doing uh, all of the laps in the i8. So we're doing two laps, sort of hopefully at a moderate speed. Get, getting some tips, learning the routes so that when I go on the track tomorrow, I can go as quick, well, I say as quick, as, as in like a greater line as possible. And then come back in and do one lap where he's just hopefully going to rag it around and just go as quick as possible. So uh, we've got all the cars in here. We've actually got an additional car at the moment. I've got the two i8s here. I'm going to be going in this one, two i8s here. This one's actually better spec apparently than that one. So it's a little bit more racy. I think it's got better brakes and can go a little bit quicker. Then got the i3 here, then over at the back we've got one of the BMW X editions, which apparently is a hybrid as well. Here's Bruno, he's going to be taking me around, he's ready to scare me. <laughs> this is going to be awesome, I am excited and I'm going to be experiencing the track for the first time in something that's not a golf buggy. Alright, we're in i8 for the first time, it's getting to, getting to know the inside of this thing, it's an absolute beast. You can see that it is not like a standard commercial i8 at all, this thing's been rigged out. Take a look at the seats. So obviously the seats a racing seat you've got like you've got a roll cage as well to make sure that we're okay if anything happens hopefully it doesn't we should be fine and one of the interesting things we've actually got a map of the track right here as well assuming this is like all of the key points that are actually on the track as well so may get bruno to to take me through this we know exactly what it all means we've got all of the gear here we've got some lights bruno's ready to show me around 
And this this is my comfortable little position here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stay still, not touch anything, and hopefully be okay. So obviously we've got some GoPros in here to film like the big main channel video that's gonna be going up. And this is the live feed from that GoPro right there. So you can see me, you can be able to see Bruno next to me, and hopefully I don't scream like a girl and embarrass myself. I mean I kinda hope I kinda hope you do scream like a girl. <laughs> it's not happening, it's not I wanna, happening. I wanna have that unique sound come out of your voice that no one's heard before. <laughs> I'm not a screamer either, so if it happens, it's yeah, gonna be it's a horrible gonna be sound. Like one of those weird <laughs> some cool time on track. We are ready for some track time. We are ready for some track time. So you're gonna give me some tips. Buenos Aires. Yeah. We're not gonna be doing a super fast lap. We're gonna be doing laps, basically like tutorial laps, basically. So giving me some information. Absolutely. Letting me know what I should do for when it comes to my actual time on the track. So this is the pit exit. So uh, at this moment you are on the track. Okay. On the main straight, as you can see, you can see the starting grid. You can see the the lights. And at which point should I be braking? Probably well, like 100 or 50? Yeah, we, the racing car is at, uh, with a with a warm tires, warm brakes, everything on the, on the on the right place. They should be braking around 100 meters. Okay. Okay. So this is a really left, a tight left, and then you have this this uh, right corner. Yeah. You should be doing this in second gear. Second gear. Okay. Second gear. So here third gear. Third. Fourth gear. Fourth. And then you have this fast, I think one of the fastest uh, corners in the entire circuit. Really? In the world circuit, yes. So you don't go drop down from fourth, just stay in fourth and keep it going? Fourth, fifth gear, yes. We've got another I-8 on the track, it's come to invade our, <laughs> it's come to take over our track time. Two I-8s on the track at once. Boys, see our I-8 squad rolling out. <laughs> so there we go guys, we've got the lowdown on top tips, lines, braking, gears and everything for when it comes to me driving on the track. It's been super useful um, and I don't know, I don't know, it's good, it's good. I feel like I understand the track better and the layout better, which is important. Yeah, it is indeed. So there's not much more I can do now, just got to wait till tomorrow and hopefully it all goes okay. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's all a lie, I'm not driving the Formula E car, I'm driving this bad boy. I think it's got maximum speed of like five miles an hour. <laughs> Imagine if they put me in one of those instead. These things look like they're made for kids. A random bug has strayed into yeah, yeah. the BMW garage. It wants a bit of that I8. Exactly. It wants to be driven around on the track. Look at it. It's massive. It's quite big. I don't know what it is though. Do you think it can fly away? Deadly. I haven't got a clue what it is. <laughs> I'm glad it's dead, <laughs> not alive. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so we're backstage in the pits of the Audi garage. The guy's about to shoot out and do like almost like practice to make sure the cars are all good. I believe it's the first time the car has been fully put together and on the track since the last race they've done, which has been like almost a month ago. So I've got Daniel behind me who was hanging out with at the party yesterday. Awesome, awesome guy. So I'm definitely supporting my man. And uh, we're going to see these cars in action for the very first time on the track. It's going to be awesome. So these cars are actually on right now and because of course they're electric powered, you can't hear a single thing. I'm, I'm louder than the car. If this was like Formula One, these cars would be so loud. So all because of uh, how they're powered, these things are quiet. You've got to watch your back. I don't want to get run over by one of these things. So we're behind, so we're behind the scenes in the pits of the Audi garage. We've got a live feed here. We've just been talking through the track here. You can actually see uh, all the numbers of all the different races that are on the track as well. So you can track everyone's position. It's sort of segregated into three segments. You've got the blue segment, yellow, and then purple for the different time breakdown. So obviously Bruno and I went through this track earlier today. These guys are now out there doing their practice laps. You can see all the temperatures of the cars as well. So this is all the, all the details that all the guys, all the engineers and everyone behind the scenes have of everything that's going on within the, the practice races right now. All right guys, more practice ready for tomorrow. We are here with not only two simulators set up, with Sam here, another awesome, actually UK Formula E racer, who's, who's currently practicing, if anybody needs practice, it's me by the way, I'm just saying. So we've also got Forza Fuel set up in the background, or Forza, I'm just got Forza Fuel. And Forza Fuel stuck in my mind so much after that trip. Forza 5 in the background, so we're gonna be having a competitive simulator battle, and then a competitive gaming battle. So obviously, I guess I'm supposed to win the gaming battle, Sam's supposed to win the simulator battle, but I'm, I'm way more excited to jump on the sim to be honest with you. I've been on sims this before, probably not, not this exact setup, but like, it feels so much better than a controller. If you can see here, it's actually exactly the same track that, of course, I'm going to be going on tomorrow. If you have a look at the top left there, that's the exact same map Bruno and I were talking about earlier today, so this is going to be really vital, really important practice. 
Guys, we've done the racing gaming section of this challenge. I can't give away who won. Like, the pressure really was on my shoulders to take this. But now we're going to switch it up. Sam's going to be giving me, hopefully, some pointers on the simulator. I'm really excited for this. Because this really is, like, the practice that I need leading up to tomorrow. And I need all the practice I can get. Guys, welcome. We're here in Argentina for the Formula E race. And I've got myself Sam Bird right here. Thank you for joining me. You're going to be helping me out on this realistic simulator of the exact course that is right here for this Formula E race. So, never been in one of these before. I'm going to be driving the actual car tomorrow. So it's going to be an amazing experience of practice. So, if we should jump into it and get to grips with the simulator. Yeah, you need to do it. Come on, let's do it. All right, sweet. First things first, you actually need to step into it. Yeah. You should look at it like it's a bit like an alien. I know, I'm scared. So, <laughs> let's give this a go. So, jumping in. Come oh. on. Oh, yeah, All right, it's moving. I like it. Big shout out to Sam after doing some racing with him and after he beat me, <laughs> he gave me one of his hats. So appreciate that Sam, you're a good guy. So we just finished having a go on the gaming racing simulator on Forza and then the actual simulator uh, right here behind us at the uh, Emotion Formula E Club. Very cool name, right? Unfortunately, actually I can't really give away what happened, but the simulator I can talk about. The simulator actually made me realize how much harder it was and I was quite confident for tomorrow, I can't lie. Done a few sims with um, Lewis Hamilton. I've done, I've been a lot of racing simulators just at various events and felt confident in them. Obviously got the R8. The R8 is a different beast to the Formula E car. I believe the R8 is actually quicker overall with max speed, but obviously the acceleration you get from something like a Formula E car is just completely different. But, oh man, I don't know. I, was, I hit a lot of walls in that, in that um, sim, I can't lie. So hopefully tomorrow goes well. I've had as much practice as I can get, so there's not much more I can do. So obviously before actually getting in the car tomorrow, I need to be wearing all my correct gear, need to be sized up correctly. And we've got some of the Formula E cars here to sort of like size up everything, put myself in the car so it can be fully adjusted for when it comes to my turn to give it a go. So I'm not actually fully suited up right now. Tomorrow I'm gonna be wearing under gear, like special fireproof clothes, gloves, absolutely everything. It's gonna be so hot. But it's, it's a safety precautions that are needed for driving a crazy thing like that. So we're gonna get in there, make sure everything's sized up correctly, ready for the big day tomorrow. Have you broken it already? Yeah, I think I've uh, broken the Formula E car before I've even got on the track. <laughs> it's like, put your foot all the way down the throttle like, I have. He's like, that's not normal. I'm like, no! <laughs> I mean, I know Formula E cars are meant to be silent, but not no, that quiet. Maybe not that silent, that's for sure. But like, look how like tightly packed in I am. Like, this is what it's going to be like with a helmet on, uh, in boiling, boiling heat. Uh, it's very different like experience. Like I was saying to these guys, when I'm in my R8, you're in like a nice, comfy like inside of a car wearing your clothes jamming out to your music whereas here like you're out in the open strapped in helmet on very tight and like the, the racing experience and the driving experience is just completely different to like driving my normal car so. what's it like now that you're actually in the actual car that you'll be driving tomorrow i think the more and more like realistic like, the, once i'm the sim now i'm inside the car i'm more nervous than i was but i'm still super excited for it i think i definitely like everyone's telling me like you're not going to go as quickly as you think you are and i'm like no i'm going to smash yeah, and now I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna go a little bit slower. Yeah. But sure. the thing I like about it is that you've actually got like a team yeah. of like you've got like over like six guys working on the car that you're you know going I mean? on. Like they're here if anything goes wrong. So we've got a backup squad just in case. So I I'm pumped, man. It should be awesome. All right, all testing and fitting is done. It was extremely tight in there, but you want to be secure when you're driving something like that. So the next time I see this guy, actually, I'm actually driving this thing. Will be tomorrow. So all the prep in the world really is done. Tonight we're gonna get an early one. We'll be up early to drive this car and uh, I'm gonna be in that thing driving it tomorrow. How nuts is that?